Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick update, or <laughs> quick meaning 8 to 10 minutes, who knows. A uh, little TTC vlog. Um, I am on cycle day 9? Cycle day 9? I'm a little frustrated. I was supposed to start Clomid this month and I started on day five at night and I took another pill day six and I was ar I, I already have migraines all the time so that's you know been fun and when you're trying to get pregnant and especially when you are pregnant you're not supposed to take heavy duty migraine medication unless like you can't stand it. Um, so anyhow I noticed that on Tuesday um, day six I was having a little bit of headache and I took my Clomid that night and the next day on Wednesday I woke up after having taken two pills at this point, 50 milligrams, um, and Wednesday morning I got extremely sick. Um, I started throwing up in the morning around like 8.30. I threw up all day um, to the point where I was dry heaving. I was trying to just drink water and eat crackers so that I could throw something up. Um, I don't know, to me I guess like water or something like that is better on the throat than just bile. Um, but I threw up all the way through till like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. I must have thrown up six or seven times. Um, and each time I threw up, it was like five times in a row. So that was exciting. Um, and then yesterday on Thursday, which, so I didn't take metformin on Wednesday because I couldn't keep anything down. I didn't take the Clomid that night because I was too scared. I was worried that I was having a really bad reaction to it. And everything I read online said if you have nausea and vomiting. Um, and I had a lot of um, swollen and tenderness in my abdomen. And I thought, you know, this could be really bad. Maybe I'm overstimulating and my body's just really not um, agreeing with the Clomid. I know I ovulate on my own. I know that it's only a few times a year, so I was hoping the Clomid would really be a miracle for me that would normalize everything and get us pregnant really quick. So I didn't take the Clomid Wednesday night. I talked over with my husband. I called the doctor. Um, Thursday, the doctor called me. They said, you know, what do you want to do? I said, I think I'm going to wait on it. Um, I just, I feel awful. So they said, okay, well, we're going to have you come in next Wednesday as planned for an ultrasound just to see. Hopefully they can tell me if I'm ovulating or they can do a progesterone check. Um, and I'm going to be doing my uh, OPKs in the meantime. So we'll see how that goes. Um... But yesterday, on Thursday all day, I had a fever. So I was at 100 to 101 all day. I felt really tired, really sore, really achy. I was laying on the couch all day long. And today I got up feeling way better, but then as the afternoon sort of arrived, like, I, I feel gross again. Like, I feel kind of nauseous. I feel hot. Um, so I don't know if it's the Clomid or if I caught a stomach bug. Um, I'm a little nervous because if we decide not to continue with Clomid, I don't think my regular OBGYN will prescribe Femera or anything else. Um, like I said, I'm still very new to all this. That's just kind of the buzzword I've heard that if Clomid's not working, sometimes Femera is a better solution. But I think we'd have to see an infertility specialist or um, a reproductive expert, reproductive, I don't know, the RE, whatever that stands for. Um, so if that's the case, I'm not sure if our insurance will cover it because I haven't checked on fertility treatments with our insurance plan. So I might try Clomid one more time next month if we don't get pregnant this month, um, just to see if maybe I had some unrelated symptoms, you know, side bug or something. But I mean, the good news is I guess I lost six pounds. <laughs> um, yeah, I lost six pounds in a day and a half from the vomiting and not being able to eat. So I don't know if that's really good news, but I guess if we're looking at the positive. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of monitor what goes on with my body, check my symptoms, keep temping, and um, see what the doctor has to say next Wednesday. So they're going to do my um, ultrasound on cycle day 14, which I thought was kind of late. I thought they should do it around like day 12, but that would be Memorial Day, so the doctors aren't open that day. Um, so I'm not sure why they're waiting till the 14th. They could have done it on the 13th, who knows. But hopefully we can see something, which I'm still not sure how they determine what's a follicle and what's a cyst. If you have cystic ovaries, how are they able to pick out, well, this one here is an egg getting ready to rupture. I don't know. For those of you who are farther along in this, I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, I'd love to hear if any of you have had any good or bad experiences with Clomid, how much you were on, you know, what dosage and how long. And also, um... I'm curious for, for the people who take Clomid, if any people are aware that they were ovulating now and then. 
Um, I've tried using Bump and Baby and I was on one of the forums in there and I just wasn't getting any response. I posted something, I waited, um, about 10 or 15 people responded to other people and then I posted again and I didn't get any acknowledgement. So I don't know what the deal is in there, but I haven't had very good luck with trying to join a you know, thread and having people respond. So um, I wouldn't mind having the online support, but it just seems like that website, and specifically for me, um, isn't working. So, and I've gone on Soul Sister too. I don't know if I've signed up yet or not. So maybe I'll try over there, but um, it doesn't seem quite as active as the Bump and Baby board. So, or Bump and Baby or Baby and Bump. Anyway, uh, so I'll probably do another update after next week when I have my doctor's appointment and see what they say. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay hopeful that, you know, maybe things will happen on their own this month and we have a good shot. Um, I've been taking supplements. I've been doing red raspberry leaf tea, evening primrose oil. Um, I just got some maca root in the mail. I think I'm going to have my husband do that and I'm going to do it as well. Um, I've been taking my prenatals. So I've been trying to take some supplements and things to hopefully help my fertility, healthiness. Um, but other than that, I, I, I feel like I'm just kind of, I'm not going to get my hopes up this time around and I'm going to kind of go with the flow, I guess, this month. So we'll see what happens. So anyhow, your support is appreciated. For those of you who've joined my channel because of the TTT, TTC stuff, I appreciate it. And uh, I think I'm probably going to do another video here with some material goodies. And then um, hopefully I'm going to do a book video over the weekend. So trying to get into the flow of all the things I enjoy doing on my channel. Um, and I've taped a bunch of other stuff. I think I've taped some hair stuff. I've taped some videos of cooking. I just need to go through and edit some stuff that I have lying around that I've never put together and put up. So we'll see. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I am cycle day 13 and I have my ultrasound tomorrow. Um, so I haven't really noticed anything at all going on. I found a couple little twinges here and there where I think my ovaries are, but you know, I have friends who tell me that they can feel uh, ovarian cramping and they know their cycle, you know, when they're ovulating, blah, blah, blah. I have no clue. So I have my ultrasound tomorrow on cycle day 14. So we'll see if the clomid worked, if I have any follicles, and then we'll go from there. Um, I'm trying to stay optimistic and just kind of feeling like, you know, if it doesn't happen this cycle, then next cycle hopefully we'll be better prepared. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I filmed that on cycle day nine, I guess. So now we're at 13, not a whole lot's changed, um, but I'm feeling much better. So that's good. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any advice, let me know. Success stories um, or channels, I would love to check it out. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, I wanted to do a quick update before I run off to work since I've been trying to film this and get it up for three days now. Um, today's cycle day 15. I went and had my follicle scan yesterday on the 14th day of my cycle. Um, not good. After only taking two pills out of the Clomid, um, basically nothing was going on down there. My uterine lining was only measuring at six, which is like right at the border of like being too little. Um, all of my cysts, which are like 15 or 20 on each ovary. Um, none of them were dominant. They were all measuring at like one. So it doesn't look like anything's going on down there. So pretty much the plan is in two weeks I'll take Provera. Um, I'm going to keep temping and see if there's any signs of ovulation, but it just seems highly unlikely at least, you know, for at least a week out, there's no chance of ovulation. I doubt that any of those are going to get big enough. So it's very disappointing. Um, I was in a funk all day yesterday. I was hoping maybe there was some chance. Um, so I also found out that my insurance does not cover infertility. So that means that pretty much the Clomid is our only option right now, unless we want to pay out of pocket. Um, so I will be trying that again and hoping it works. Um, I just don't think my OBGYN is willing to prescribe anything else. She would send me to someone else at the office who works with infertility and then at that point my insurance won't cover it. So it really sucks. Um, so I'm really hoping that the Clomid will work and it was just a fluke that I got sick. Um, so yeah, so probably for the next two weeks here I'm just going to be waiting around and then getting ready to take Provera and, and have a period. Um, obviously if anything changes during that time I'd be excited but I'm not really counting on it. So hopefully um, that means, you know, end of June um, will be our time 
end of June, beginning of July. So, fingers crossed. Um, so thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.